Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Flip Chat and Chill, where we get to bring people to talk about the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, and the beautiful of freelancing, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight, I am joined by Miss Ludilin Salazar. Sabi nga ni Carmi dito. Suki po si Ludilin sa ating shows and uh, manifest niya na maging intern of the night siya one day. Yay! Go, 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 girl! So, yes, congratulations, Miss Ludilin. Eto na. Sisimulan na natin ang ating ano, ang Flip Chat and Chill. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and our topic is Ludilin how to choose a new skill to boost your freelancing career very good very well said how to choose a new skill to boost your freelancing career and tonight ladies and gentlemen we are joined by by our lovely and handsome buti naman meron tayong isang handsome isa pang handsome so, para may kasama ako na handsome din na ano nandito sa sa panel po. Welcome back Miss Ruby. Say hi to everybody please. Hello good hi, evening everyone. po. <laughs> oh, no. welcome back po Miss Ruby. Are you glad that you're back? Second time yes, in a row na ito, ha? Yes na yes. <laughs> 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 Ah, yes. I am so eager to have you here. Buti naman at nahikayat ka ni, ni Carmi ulit. Sana nga, ano, you uh, regular ka dito because I really enjoy your input. Diba, ladies and gentlemen, na-enjoy naman siguro natin yung mga input ni, ni Miss Ruby last week. So, it will be interesting kung ano na naman ang sasabihin niya this week. And we got somebody who's quite excited to, to join us tonight, Mr. Jervin. Say hi to everybody, please. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Nice to be here. Nice. It is also nice to have you here. Let me ask you a question, Jervin. Who are you and why should I be interested? Sorry, say that again. No, it's something it's something that it's something that I used to ask um in the earlier times of flip chat and chill. I know I just want to bring it back. Who are you and why should I be interested? Oh, okay. Uh, so my name is Gervin, and um, I'm new to freelancing. I just started freelancing six months ago. Um, I'm still in the uh, corporate world, so I'm juggling uh, two jobs at a time. So I work full time in my uh, corporate uh, job, and then after shift, I find time to work on my freelancing gig. So, so there. Awesome. Awesome. So we got a juggler here, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much, Gervin. Uh, kaya ko rin natanong yan because I want you to pronounce your own name. Dahil maya maya baka magkamali na naman ako sa, ano, sa pronunciation ng pangalan. So welcome. And thank you for joining us tonight. Sana naman ma-enjoy mo ang ating episode for tonight. Also, we got Miss Claire. Claire, say hi to everybody, please. Hello, everyone. Hello po sa inyo. Magandang gabi po. First time here. Excited and a little bit nervous at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, ayan, oh, ayan. Oh, may kapwa tayo din yung nervyo. So we got two nervous people here. We got two nervous ladies tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ang ating intern at isa sa mga panel natin si Ms. Claire. Ms. Claire, don't worry about it. There, there, There's nothing really to be nervous about because it's all about our opinions tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our topic is how to choose a new skill to boost your freelancing career. Okay, let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen, could you please put on the comment section kung ano ang primary skill ninyo and ano ang secondary skill ninyo? Those are just two skills. I'm just asking for two skills. Ah, baka mamaya 100 ang skills na ilagay nyo dyan. You know? I want you to indicate what is your primary skill and what is your secondary skill on the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Ipakita nga natin para who knows kung merong, merong nag scout dyan na naghahanap ng virtual assistant, eh, di ayaw nyo pa yun. That's kind of an exposure as well. So put it on the comment section below. I would be very interested. Regardless of whether you already have jobs or you don't, whether you are at corporate or you're working as a freelancer, it doesn't matter to me. What I want to know is what is your primary skill and what is your secondary skill? So while we are waiting for your comments, ladies and gentlemen, let me go straight to Miss Claire. Dahil ikaw itong nervyos. I really like playing around with nervous people. Yan ang isa sa mga sakit ko pag minsan. Eh. Pag mahalat akong nervyos ang panel para okay i want i want them <laughs> ganun na, ganun. But, but let me go to you miss claire when entering freelancing what is 
a primary skill that a lot of the a lot of beginner freelancers ought to pay attention to. Actually, nag-start ako ng freelance freelancing three years ago. Uh, even mag-turn on ng computer, hindi ko alam that time. Yes. So, um, ayun nga. So, um, but I'm lucky na naka- nakakilala ko ng mentor. So, from her, na, na, nakatutun naman ako dito ng skills. Isang skill lang naman yung natutunan ko. Pero, um, because of her naman, ginawa niya, akong, ginawa niya akong VA. So, yung lahat ng mga atas ng VA, unti-unti ko din siyang pinag-aralan from me mm. knowledge uh, about everything. So, parang, um, again, ano nga ulit, ulit yung question, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when entering freelancing, ano ba sa tingin mo ang pinakaunang dapat pag-aralan? Anong pinakaunang skill na dapat pag-aralan ng beginner freelancer? Ah, okay. So, for me, hindi talaga uh, skill lang pinaka-importante para sa akin na pag-aralan una. Kailangan meron tayong right attitude talaga. So, kasi ang mm. skill naman kasi madali yan pag-aralan. Um, marami tayong resources, may mga free resources, may paid. Pero yung attitude, hindi mo yan mabibili, hindi mo yan, mapag, uh, hindi mo yan kumbaga, basta-basta madidevelop overnight and mapapanood sa YouTube. Kumbaga, so isa, isa yan sa pinakaunang importante na dapat uh, meron tayo, yung magandang attitude. Kasi from there, kahit na minsan mali-mali yung ginagawa natin sa client, um, pero marunong tayong makisama sa mga kasama natin sa, sa freelancing, kung meron tayong mga kasama sa client, kung maganda kang magsalita, maganda yung approach mo. Eventually, parang um, sa kanila, okay yun. Um, kahit na hindi ka ganun kagaling sa una, uh, because you're, you have the right attitude, you're honest, you are willing to learn, yun, you're teachable, you're coachable, um, I think yun yung pinaka-importante sa akin. So, secondary na lang yung, yung skill for me when you're starting as a freelancer. Yun po yun sa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that answer. And I think I will consider that still as a skill, eh? Mm-hmm. Having the right attitude, having the right attitude is is for me a skill as well. Kasi pagdating sa, kasi sa, ano, sa, sa freelancing, ladies and gentlemen, pag papasok ka sa freelancing, somehow there are plenty of concepts that are alien to you. Which leads me to Gervin here. Gervin, you as a juggler between corporate and, a, and your current freelancing job, what are the certain changes that you have to develop when you enter freelancing, skills-wise? I think um, for someone that juggles uh, two jobs at a time, I think time management is really key here you have to sacrifice a lot of uh, things in order for you to be successful in freelancing. So one big example is uh, during break time in my corporate um, you know, shift or whenever I have free time, I make sure I learn something which would make me uh, impact yung freelancing gig ko. So whether it's an online mm-hmm. course or uh, a task for my client, I make sure I utilize the free time that I have because I have a family as well. So mm-hmm. everything is, you know, is important uh, time-wise. So really having that discipline to push through with your task. It's easy to just write your tasks uh, in your to-do list or your task tracker. But it's, you know, it's another uh, when you execute those tasks. So having that discipline early on. Uh, would really impact, would really make you successful uh, in this. So I've been doing this for six months, still early on, and I'm still struggling. Um, I mean, um, I, I, there are days where, where I struggle uh, managing my time, but I always go back to why you know I'm doing this um, uh, freelancing gig, if you will. So yeah, so to answer your question, having that discipline and you know uh, follow through to execute those tasks that you have in mind would really set you apart from a lot of uh, beginners out there. This is absolutely true, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot emphasize enough how important time management is para sa ating lahat. Para sa ating lahat. You know what? Regardless whether you are a freelancer or not, time management is something that we really, really need to master. Kasi nga, we are known to practice Filipino 
time. Mga, branded na. We are Filipinos. We have Filipino time. Pag minsan nga, ini-embrace pa natin yan. Promote pa natin yan. Eh, Filipino time nga eh. O, di ba? Sumasagot pa tayo ng pag no? And that is something that really detracts us from our objective, which is your biggest why. Para sa inyo, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at your biggest why, masasabi mo ba na, eh, Filipino time nga eh. Sasabihin mo ba sa sarili mo yan? When you have a main objective, which is your biggest why. O, di ba, ladies and gentlemen, kayo kaya ang pagsabihan ng eh, Filipino time nga eh. O, di ba? So this, I, I most definitely agree with Gervin here. Yung time management ang isa sa mga, and discipline. And um, creating the task and, and accomplishing them are just two different things, ladies and gentlemen. And I still go back to what Claire said. Your willingness, your willingness, the right attitude to adopt such um, practices in freelancing, ladies and gentlemen. Kasi kung, kahit na ano pa ang sabihin namin sa inyo, kahit na ilang beses pang ihammer ni Gervin sa inyo yung time management, finish your task, kahit na ilang beses pa niyang sabihin yan sa inyo. Kung hindi nyo rin, kung hindi rin kayo willing, Kung wala rin yung right attitude ninyo and to be open to learn these things, wala, we are just wasting our time. Salamat na lang po sa view kung ganun. <laughs> right? Salamat na lang po sa view count kung, kung, kung ganun, ano, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, pakihila nga yung mga ibang mga kasama natin dyan. Kasi ako, medyo nabibitin pa rin ako sa, sa mga views natin dyan. Eh. Pakihila nga yung mga uh, gusto pang magdagdag ng skills dyan o yung feeling nila na sa kanila na lahat ng skills. Gusto ko rin silang makausap. Sige nga, invite nyo nga dito, dito sa, ano, sa episode natin today because I really want to know what your opinions are with regards to what we are doing especially today in our topic for today, how to choose a new skill to boost your freelancing career. And sabi nga ni Carmi, ang first skill daw niya is customer service, admin task, second skill, graphic design. Very good. We also have Gray saying customer service appointment setter. Very good. Jenny, first skill, content writing, and second skill is social media management. Very good. Tong si Ryan, customer service specialist, voice. Ooh, very nice. I would like to hear your voice, please. Lead generator, cold calling, appointment setter. Mga matatinding mga, mga skills itong mga to. Alam nyo sa totoo lang, hindi ko kaya itong mga to. <laughs> Jocelyn said, first skill, social media management. And second, second is graphic design. Also have Wang, right attitude is the most important thing. Secondary is the skill. Very nice. Yes. Thank you for quoting Claire there. And si Grayford sabi niya, time management, really? Time management ang skill mo? Very, very good. I love that. I love that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, pag dating kasi sa, ano, sa choosing skill, let me ask you, what drives you to want to add more skills to your arsenal? Matanong ko nga sa inyo, ladies and gentlemen, sinabi nyo na ang first skill ninyo, sinabi nyo na ang second skill ninyo. Alam ko marami pa rin sa inyo itong mga parang sinasabi lang sa sarili pero ayaw i-comment sa comment section. So let me ask you, what is the reason for freelancers to add more skills? Sa'yo ah, ano sa inyo ang dahilan kung bakit gusto nyo magdagdag pa ng skill? Lagay nyo sa comment section, give me your reason why. Ruby, ikaw, what is the reason for adding more skills to our arsenal? adding new skills, excuse me. <clears throat> Ako, for me kasi, parang yung sec- first skill ko kasi is VASMM. Tapos, ang hmm. naging second skill ko is email copywriting. Kaya ako siya, naging, baano ako nag-transition from SMM to email copywriting is kasi during SMM, na-discover ko yung love ko for writing. So, hmm. number one talaga, syempre, bakit ka magde-level up? is, siyempre, pay. Huwag na tayo maging plastic. Siyempre, gusto natin mas sa, sa, sa taas ang take-home pay natin. <laughs> diba? Second is growth. Kasi, alam mo yun, minsan kasi, di ba ginagawa mo na yung skill mo, pero minsan parang, you know, there's something more. Yung parang pinupush yes. ka ng sarili mo na, no, hindi parang hindi lang ako dito. Parang gusto ko pang may ibang gawin. Yung ganun, yung, mm. ay, oo, oh, ano, kaya ko rin gawin yun. Yung alam niyo yung transition from ito yung pre- ito yung una tapos ito yung dalawa usually naman may connect yan eh hindi naman bilo, ay gusto ko mag FF ka agad no iisipin mo na kung ating primary skill ko dad dinadagdagan lang natin yan ate mga kuya hindi natin yan binabawasan mm-hmm. parang ganun lang yan dagdag lang ng dagdag 
for you to grow. Hindi natin kakalimutan yan kasi for me, ha, kahit na SMM, tapos nag-email copywriting ako, nakukuha ko pa rin yung mga lessons from SMM na, ah, ganito nga pala pag CTA. Di ba lahat naman may CTA? Yes. May engagement. May engagement habang nagsusulat ako. So, hindi ko matatanggal yun sa akin kasi nandun rin yung form of engagement. So, sa para sa akin, pa, nagdagdag ako ng skill. Yes, for me to have a higher pay. Second is for me to grow. And third, kasi nakuha ako, na, 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 na-revisit ko yung love for writing ko. Kaya yun, yun yung for me. Kaya kayo, huwag kayong ma- mahihiya, huwag kayong matatakot, kasi may, talagang may mga connect, connect yan. At kapag tinutulak na kayo ng sarili nyo na, oh, mag-level up ka na, huwag ka matakot, go lang lang go. <laughs> yun lang. Yes. Yes, I most definitely agree. Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, pag minsan kasi, pag sinasabi nating upskill, marami, ilang beses namin sinasabi yan, yeah, yung mag-upskill ka, mag-level up ka, baka naman iniisip ninyo na, ay, nako, trabaho na naman, mag-aaral na naman, ano ba yan? It's, it's not supposed to be that way, ladies and gentlemen. Kita nyo si Ruby, yung attitude niya is, oo, sandali, gusto kong madagdagan yung skill ko. Meron akong nakita, uy, gusto ko yun. Gusto ko yun. Paano ba yun ginagawa? That alone, ladies and gentlemen, is the start of your upskilling. Your curiosity is the key, ladies and gentlemen. Kasi kapag hindi kayo interested at pinipilit nyo lang sa sarili ninyo ang mag-upskill, it will never happen. Hindi kayo, uh, well, it could happen but it will take a long time. Dahil hindi ka nga interested. So kapag nakita mo na, may nakita ka na parang if you're a graphic designer, tapos nakita mo na, oh, sandali, gusto kong gawin yun. I want, to, I want to do that and add that to my skills. That alone, ladies and gentlemen, is an upgrade. Hindi na, we don't have to make it difficult for us, ladies and gentlemen. So sabi nga ni, ni Ruby, hindi naman kaila automatic na, ay, kailangan expert level na tayo. No. Because when we are working, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have time to torture ourselves. We don't absolutely have no time to torture ourselves. So why not find something that we actually enjoy, we actually are attracted to, and in doing so, ladies and gentlemen, kahit 30 minutes lang ang i-dedicate mo sa pag-aaral mo, sa pag-upskill mo, marami ka nang maa-accomplish. So please, ladies and gentlemen, balik tayo kay Claire ulit na sinabi niyang the right attitude. The right attitude in learning, ladies and gentlemen, is to find something that you are attracted to so that you will be able to accomplish it very quickly and painlessly. Kailangan painless. Kasi kapag painful ang freelancing, ladies and gentlemen, nako, nag-freelancing ka pa. Right? That is something that we ought to do to ourselves. Ayan, oh, marami mga nagsasab. Ayan, sabi nito, to increase your pay and increase the possibility of getting new clients. Yes, Ryan. And sino pa yung nagsabi ng ano? Meron akong isang gusto, nagustuhan dito eh. Uh, para mas gumanda. Ayun, ayun. Well, so that, let me just show this. Ano, and the, balikan na lang natin ito, ano, um, Ludolin. Let me just show what Nora said. To be a more attractive freelancer and get a higher pay. Yes, I love that. I love that, um, Miss Nora. Kasi kailangan din natin gumanda, right? Diba? Nagbe-makeup naman tayo pag minsan. We need to put lipstick on. That is an upgrade, ladies and gentlemen, if we want to be attractive to our clients. And we are talking about skills. Kasi nga, diba, ang usap-usapan natin is, ang importante sa client is for you to be able to solve their problems. How are you going to solve their problems? By wearing makeup? No. By upskilling, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Yun, ang, yun din ang susi kung, ba, kung paano nyo magagawang uh, uh, indisposable kayo. Because getting a contract is another step. But keeping yourself there, keeping the contract is another. How do you keep your co- yourself in that contract? By maintaining your attractiveness. Kasi kapag ganun lang ang ginagawa mo, constantly na yun lang ang ginagawa mo para sa client mo, chances are you will be ignored. You will be forgotten. But if you keep on increasing your skill, your client will see that in you. Ipakita mo rin kasi. Your client will see that in you. And the more valuable you become, it's not just sa sahod. Hindi lang sa sahod yan, sa mata pa lang ng client sa'yo yung ayaw kanyang bitawan. And that is of great value, ladies and gentlemen, pagdating sa career natin. So I hope you understand that, ladies and gentlemen. Keep bringing on those comments dahil gusto kong malaman talaga kung ano ang opinion ninyo, opinion ninyo pagdating sa ganitong topic na ito. So let me go straight to Miss Claire. Miss Claire, uh, could you please answer our topic for tonight? How can a freelancer choose a new skill 
for them to boost their freelancing career? Ah, okay. So, uh, for me, so, kailangan mo muna talagang, uh, first, magkaroon ka muna ng unang uh, trabaho, par- ang online job talaga. Kasi, hindi mo naman agad-agad malalaman ano talaga yung mag-work sa'yo pag hindi mo pa yan nasubukan. So, yun nga. Uh, like, ma- like ako nga, nagsimula ko nang wala talaga akong alam. So, lahat yan, inaral ko. Ultimo Google Drive, Google Sheet, lahat yan, hindi ko yan alam. So, um, pag pag schedule ng mga post din, lahat talaga as in wala. So from there, nalalaman ko na ah, itong trabaho na itong trabaho na to kaya ko to madali ko tong magagawa. And then yung ano naman, yung sa graphic designing, kahit na Canva lang, hindi ko talaga siya magawa ng maayos. So naisip ko na ah, itong ano to skill na to, hindi to kumbaga this is something na nagko-consume talaga ng time ko. Pero ginagawa ko pa din, nung nag-start ako, I was very hard on myself talaga. Talaga pinupush ko yung sarili mm. ko na Hmm, dapat kailangan, alam ko to, hindi, hindi, kailangan dapat magawa ko to. So, um, nagkukonsume talaga ako ng mahabang oras para magawa siya. But eventually, naisip ko na din, kalaunan na pag paulit-ulit ko na ginagawa, tapos natatagalan pa rin ako, nalaman ko na ay, hindi talaga to, kumbaga, give up na, hindi to para sa akin. So, yeah, um, yes. Yun. And then you continuously learn, nagtitingin-tingin ka pa rin ng mga iba, so sinusubukan mo din yung, um, y- yung sa email management, yung iba pang skill, Then nalalaman, dun mo parang mararamdaman mo naman yun sa puso mo na ito yung trabaho na to parang ano, ang dali niya para sa akin. Tapos parang sobrang ano ka talaga, excited ka pag ginagawa mo yun. And dumalabas talaga yung, yung ano mo, yung galing mo. Marami kang nasi-share. So that's when you start to think na, uh, I, think, I think dito ako magpo-focus sa ano na to, sa skill na to. Yun. That's it for me. Wow, I love what Miss uh, Miss Claire said, ladies and gentlemen. And dami niya nasabi actually na ano na na magaganda which I really want to to point at. Pero something that stood out ladies and gentlemen for me is yung sinabi niya nung una. First and foremost, you apply it. Kaya <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, alam alam ko marami sa atin itong sakit nating gusto nating maging master of something before nalalapit tayo sa client. Para sa akin, that is quite detrimental because you are wasting your time. Well, you are not wasting, you are consuming too much of your time. So before you decide on adding new skills, you have to discover, you have to apply, ano? you have to apply your earned skills first and discover what works for you. Kasi ang big, pagiging general virtual assistant, ladies and gentlemen, gagawin natin lahat. Gagawin natin lahat. Now, dahil sa, kakula, dahil sa kakailanganin natin ng pera, sandali, did I say that right? Dahil sa need natin ng pera, English para shorter, ano, kakailanganan something. Uh, there. Dahil sa need natin sa pera, ano, uh, gagawin natin lahat kahit na ayaw natin. That is understandable, ladies and gentlemen. Gutom tayo eh. We need the money. So we will do anything the client will ask us as long as we can do it para lang magkaroon tayo ng trabaho. But for sure, meron naman sa atin siguro itong mga parang hindi naman sa namimili, hindi naman sa nag pero meron talaga yung mga tasks na ayaw natin, parang eh, eto na naman, ayoko nito. Hindi mo pwedeng move on to the next task na lang ako. Meron tayong mga ganong klaseng attitude. How will you be able to discover the tasks that you like? How will you be able to discover the tasks that you are good at if you do not apply? Kung aral ka na lang ng aral ng skills at magdadagdag ka na lang ng magdadagdag ng skills without giving yourself a chance to apply it, well, wala kang mapupuntahan. <laughs> Hanggang student ka lang. Kung ganon. Hanggang student ka lang. So, ladies and gentlemen, I love what Miss Cla- what Miss Claire said there that i-apply mo muna kasi before you start discovering your new skill, i-apply mo muna lahat ng mga alam mo so that you will know kung ano ba talaga yung mga gustong-gusto mo, yung kating-kati ang kamay mo na gawin mo. Yan. That is where you get to discover the skills that you want to add, ladies and gentlemen, because it connects with the skills that you are good at or you like. So thank you very much for that input, Miss Miss Claire. Ang dami mong sinabi pang iba na ano na magaganda pero parang nag-overload na sa utak ko talagang yung ano yung pinakaunang sinabi mo lang nag-stand out sa akin. Ang dami eh, nag-overload lang talaga sa akin and I I also love the comment here. May sinabi dito isa. I, I love this. I love this. Sabi ni Jenny, the freelancing world is always evolving so it would take freelancers to improve and develop their skills and the opportunities are actually endless. So it's up to 
you if how far you want to succeed. This is so true and beautifully said, Miss Jenny. Thank you very much. Sali ka sa ano sa flip chat and chill natin para ano. Kasi gusto ko ma-extract yung ano yung laman ng utak mo na yan. Sana ma-invite ka ni, ni Carmi one day. Gervin, let me go to you. Well, what do you think is a, is a good uh, answer coming from your end to our topic for today? Um, for me, it's it's kind of different uh, in my case kasi. So, a uh, little backstory here. So, <clears throat> I've been wanting to enter or go into freelancing world uh, nine years ago pa. Um, but I was playing safe because I was earning, I am earning okay naman in the corporate world. So, I didn't feel the need to uh, go into freelancing uh, before. Um, but then again, uh, like what I said earlier, your mindset shift, you need to ask yourself why you're doing this or why you will do this. And for me, is more than monetary rewards is the fact that yung, yung growth potential, niya, yung ability niya to spend time diba, with your loved ones more. Um, yes. And be here at home, right? So I think more than the, the money, uh, it, it's that. I think ano yun, eh, priceless. So when I decided to go into freelancing six months ago, um, I stumbled upon of this group of freelancers. And nine years ago, kasi, yung mindset ko was, uh, ano kayang skill ang pwede kong gawin? Puro yun yung question. Ano kayang Ooh. skill? Ano kayang skin pwede ng aralin? And then I'm going to offer, nice. offer myself to um, you know the freelancing world, to the clients. Um, but I, I felt something was wrong in, in that mindset. So six months ago, I stumbled upon uh, a group of freelancers and they told me that I need to have that switch. Uh, I need to switch it up and think of a market first instead. Choose a market first and research the problems that they're encountering in their business and solve that problem. So for me, I chose coaches coaches and course creators. Um, so it's just a decision. Walang, walang uh, backstory behind why I chose coaches. I just decided coaches ang gusto kong market and researched yung mga problems sila. So marami, may, may lead generation, uh, being visible, personal branding is important for them kasi nga they're coaches, online coaches. So yung lack of uh, branding, lack of visibility, lack of uh, number of enrollees, yun yung mga problems na na-encounter ng mga coaches in my research. So, upon researching, dun ko pinili yung skill that would help them solve their problem. So, coaches, lack of number of enrollees, lack of visibility online. So, I chose video marketing instead as a skill. Wala akong prior experience to marketing, wala akong prior experience mm. to video editing and all that. Uh, but upon deciding what market to serve, dun ko na lang inaral yung video marketing. So I think to answer your question uh, quick, identify the market first and the problem your client is having. And then dun mo iisipin ngayon kung ano skill. Any skill uh, you know, that would help your clients can 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 make you you know, lucrative in this uh, uh, career, if you will. Um, mapa VA man yan, graphic design, web design, video editing, lahat yan. As long as you are positioning yourself as an expert sa client mo, um, I think any skill can be a premium skill uh, basta sa tamang positioning ka sa, sa clients mo. Excellent answer. I love that uh, that approach. It's quite different. It's quite different. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am glad that Gervin is here to talk about how he approached his career as a freelancer. Kasi nga, sa freelancing, ladies and gentlemen, another concept of freedom is for you to be able to take control of your path. Kung anong daan ang gusto mong uh, lakarin. Patungo sa goal mo. Because, yun nga, sabi ko nga, ang pinaka-importante uh, is yung goal natin. Ma-achieve natin yung goal natin. So, any which way you want to, you want to do, you want to go to, basta ang importante, ma-achieve mo yung goal mo. Pag minsan, 
ang napili nating daan is medyo mahirap. Pag minsan, ang napili nating daan is medyo, ha, bago. Yan. Pag minsan, ang gusto nating piliin is yung familiar. Familiar, kasi syempre, yun nga nga nakasanayan. Ano? And one, thing go- one good thing about Gervin is, yung pagiging strategic niya is actually based on his knowledge uh, from his previous career as well. Do- doon siya, ano, yung attitude niya, doon nang galing. Maghahanap siya ng target and uh, titignan niya kung ano yung mga dapat na pag-aaralang skills para doon. So, this is somehow a bit more, a bit opposite to what I usually uh, say, ladies and gentlemen, na, oh, you discover your own skills, tapos yun ang itinda mo. Eh? Yun ang sinasabi ko usually. Si Gervin, sabi niya, hanapin mo yung target market mo, hanapin mo kung anong problema nila, hanapin mo kung ano ang solusyon at kung ano ang skills na kailangan para doon, yun ang pag-aralan mo. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, the good thing about freelancing is there is no really wrong way to do things. That's why I, I so love that Gervin is a good job, Carmi, for calling Gervin here. I so love that Gervin, Gervin is here to introduce this kind of concept. Pag-isipan nyo, ladies and gentlemen, is this kind of approach my style? Right? Is, isipin nyo yan. Is this my style? Mas komportable ba ako kapag ganito ang approach ko sa career ko as a freelancer? If that is the case, then mag-message na kayo kay Gervin. Sabihin nyo, thank you po for introducing this concept. So, sa konting pasalamat lang, ladies and gentlemen, that already is a, a very good thing for us, ladies and gentlemen. Kami mga lagi-lagi nandito nagsasalita sa harapan ninyo. Konting thank you lang po. Masarap na po sa, na, sa pakiramdam yan. So, thank you very much, Kevin, for that. That is absolutely a great concept and I, I respect it because it really is sound. It is sound, ladies and gentlemen, ha? as long as may execute mo ng mabuti. It's actually a very good approach. Ruby, your turn naman. So yeah, how to choose a new skill to boost your freelancing career? I second the motion yung sinabi ni Ms. Claire at saka ni Gervin. I second the motion. Mm-hmm. Pero ang sinaanahin <laughs> ko lang is, ano ba ito? Nawala ako sa train of thought ko. Ang gagaling, ang gagaling naman sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, ano? Oo nga eh. <laughs> second the motion. Hindi, pero ako, ang tip ko, <laughs> ang tip ko is kunyari, meron kayong specific na skill, tapos gusto nyo ng, kunyari, inaayin nyo na tong skill na to, na-research nyo na, na-reflect nyo na, na, ah, parang pwede ito yung pang-level up ko. My suggestion is for you to collab. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Kunyari, skill mo is SMM. Tapos, kunyari, ang gusto mong skill is FB ads. Di ba may copy rin yun? Kung baga, you ha, you, pwedeng maghanap sa network of friends mo ng, kunyari, o sino, sino kaya yung pwedeng kong kakulab na friend? Para at least, tignan mo, at least may sample ka, na kapag nag-collab kayo, ah, ganun pala yung ginagawa niya. At least, meron kang glimpse kung ano yung mga task niya, kung ano yung mga responsibilities niya, kung ano yung mga del- deliverables niya. Para at least, kung makikita mo sa sarili mo, ah, kaya ko nga palang gawin yan. Yung ganun. Kasi minsan, natatakot tayo eh. Natatakot tayo na, ah, hindi, gusto ko yun, pero parang, parang hindi, ko, hindi kaya ng brain cells ko. Mm-hmm. Hindi. Mm-hmm. Pag nag-collab kayo with someone, at least may first-hand view kayo, ah, friend, ano nga palang ginawa mo dito, friend? Ay, oo nga, no? Mm-hmm. Ganun ang ginawa mo dun, friend? Ayun, at least, di ba, may first-hand experience kayo na, ah, oo nga, friend. Pwede, pwede bang paturo? Pwede bang maging mentor kita sa skill na yan? Kasi maganda rin mm-hmm. na may mentor tayo, lalo na kapag may bagong skills tayo na ginagawa. Kasi, shortcut yun eh. Yung mga mentors natin, yung mga experts, ang dami niyang mga pinagdaanan na painstakingly hard. <laughs> Pinagdaanan na mentor na sila, nakuha na nila yung ganung level, yung skip mo, yung parang, oh, from 1 to 2 kaagad. Sila kasi, nag-1, 1.1, 1.2, diba? Mm-hmm. At ang babalik mo sila sa pero kapag nag-collab ka with a friend para at least makita ang first hand experience tapos with you a mentor, you may may mentor ka. Alam mo ang galing ganda noon kasi makita mo na lahat yung ins outs tapos kung hindi alam mo ay parang hindi ko talaga yan kara friend, meron pang iba. Ganun lang, start lang ng start. Start sabi nga nila, start before you're ready. Bakit? Kasi we will never be ready mga kapatid. As in, lagi sila sabi, hindi <clears throat> mag-ready ako mag-freelance, hindi oh, mag-ready yeah. ako mag-ganon. Friends, hindi kayo magiging ready. <laughs> Kaya sabi nga, mm-hmm. start before you're ready. Yun lang po. Oof, 
my goodness. Alam mo, nakakapagod kayong tatlo. Kasi talaga na <laughs> Nakakapagod kayong tatlo eh. <laughs> ang hirap na, ang hirap kasi yung lagi na lang akong nag-agree, nag-agree. Alam nyo, being, being the host here in, in Flip Chat and Chill, pati rin sa inyo, ladies and gentlemen, FYI lang ah, uh, pag merong common, na ano, common theme ang, ang panel, usually, ang, hindi naman kasama sa, hindi naman kasama sa trabaho ko, it's not written in my contract, pero, hilig ko na maghahanap ng kabaliktad. <laughs> Ay, pag ganito na, ang tatalino nitong mga kasama ko, <laughs> ang hirap maghanap ng kabaliktad, yung, yung other option. Just like Ger- just like Gerwin here. Wow! Parang paano ako magsasab, paano ako mag introduce ng ibang concept that will contradict his concept that is also likely acceptable. Ang hirap, ladies and gentlemen. Kaya ako nah- nahihirapan ngayon dito sa tatlong ito kasi ang gagaling nila, ang gaganda ng mga pina- <laughs> ang gaganda ng mga inputs nila. It's so, it, uh, it's so lovely for me to have these beautiful minded uh, people ladies and gentlemen kahit na admittedly lalo na itong dalawa di bali na si Ruby matagal na yan pero itong dalawang ito bago pa lang sila sa freelancing and yet the mindset is there the correct mindset is there this is the reason why they are being noticed ladies and gentlemen o kita nyo ha Marami sa inyo ito mga nagsasabi na how can I stand out of the crowd? How can I shine? Yung mga ganon. Sometimes you need to adapt a proper mindset. Maraming mga freelancers, ladies and gentlemen, itong na, na, nasa kanila na itong skills. Marami silang oras. Single sila. Kaya marami silang oras sa, sa pagiging freelancer. Ano? But if they don't have the proper mindset, hindi sila magtatagal, mahihirapan sila, or they will just fade away in the background at ang growth nila masyadong makupad. Unlike these two, Miss Claire and uh, Gervin here, Mr. Gervin here, kahit pa paano, meron silang proper mindset that, believe me, in one year's time, magiging six-digit earners na ito mga to. Trust me on that. Kapag ganyan, i-maintain nila ang attitude nilang ganyan. Ay, nako, hindi ako magugulat kapag bigla na lang na ini-interview ko sila dito na ano na sa just success nila na uh magkano na ang sweldo mo ngayon. <laughs> Hindi ako magugulat ladies and gentlemen. So you see ladies and gentlemen kung tutuusin ang mga pinagsasabi nitong tatlong ito it's not so difficult. It's not such a difficult task na oh I have to change my life. I have to turn my life around in day. Sabi nga ni Claire, you just need to execute it. You just need to apply it. Kung ano man ang natutunan mo, i-apply mo and just develop gradually. You will grow gradually. Si Gervin naman, mag-isip ka. Mag-isip ka. Kung if, if something is not working for you, try a different approach. The goal is still the same. It's the strategy that is different. Oh, and it's working for him so far. Oh, di ba? Nandito naman si Ruby. Be friendly, be human. Kasi nga, kaya nga tayo nandito eh, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, I wouldn't be hosting this. Kung hindi ako nagiging friendly, kahit na napakasungit ko, I'm still here trying to, trying to reproach you, ladies and gentlemen, and in hopes that you will be encouraged to keep on pursuing your career as freelancers. Dahil kailangan din natin ang um, support amongst each other. You, ladies and gentlemen, one of you, meron sa inyo itong napakagaling mag-support. It, you could be blessed with that kind of talent. Why not use it? Eh? Even even without so much knowledge, if you are a very supportive person, why don't you use that talent and bless your friends, your, your, your mga kapwa mo audiences dito with uh, uh, your gift of encouragement. Gamitin natin yan, ladies and gentlemen. Kasi nga tayo, lahat naman dito nagtutulungan eh. All we want is for everybody here to succeed. Wala akong gustong hilain dito pababa. Gusto ko, kayo lahat, sige, umangat kayo kung po pwede. The sky is the limit. Mayroon na nga nagsabi dyan, eh, talagang limitless ang options ng freelancing. So, ladies and gentlemen, ano, happy ba kayo sa sinabi nitong tatlong ito? To be continued. Ludelin, how about you give our uh, our audiences some reminders kung anong mangyayari nitong week na ito at saka next week? Kala mo nakalimutan kita ha? Hindi kita nakalimutan. <laughs> Ready ka ba? Ah, kinakabahan si Ludelin. Ludelin, magsalita ka! Sabi ko sa'yo, magsalita ka eh. So, I cannot hear you. you nakamute ka. 
Naku, nakamute pala ako. Ayan na, nanginginig ako mag-click ng unmute. Wag ha, wag ka na. <laughs> Relax ka lang. Say something, Ludilin. Are you ready? Sandali lang po, sir. Uh, yeah, so sige, sige lang, sige lang. Prepare, prepare it. Don't worry about it. No, no fuss. Kasi ano, ang trabaho ko naman na mag-assist sa'yo ay kahit papaano eh. Sige lang. Ah, I think you are ready. So we have here some announcements. So join us in Just Success on June 8, 2022 at 3.30 p.m. For us to know what hurdles did this former dental assistant overcome to start new career as a VA? An interview with Jerwin Shane Pudal. Our next episode for Flip Chat and Chill on June 13, 2022 at 6 p.m. will be How to Compete in Online Freelancing as a Newbie with host Sir Phoenix. So if you want to enroll at VA Bootcamp, please visit our website at www.vabootcamp.ph slash enroll lifetime access na. So we divided our courses into different package. The first is the skills package. This package teaches you the skills you need to start working as a virtual assistant. Here, you will learn email management, calendar management, social media management, website management, transcription, office applications, internet research, and data entry for only 1,990 pesos. Second is the accelerated package. Not only the skills you need, but the best practices on getting hired. With proven best practices on getting hired, creating freelancing profiles and job cover letter templates, acing interviews, guide, guidance and mentorship to help you get your first online job. With bonus courses on e-commerce for virtual assistants, bookkeeping and QuickBooks, better English for beginners for only 7,990 pesos. And the last is the complete package, accelerated lessons plus bonus courses plus monthly coaching call with bonus courses on SEO, web design, email marketing, writing, FB ads, next level freelancing, lead generation, chatbot marketing, and time management for only 14,990 pesos. So why VA Bootcamp? Because it is a lifetime access, guided hustle challenge, coaching calls, solid support system, internships, FB group management, FB page management, content creation, virtual assistance, SEO, e-commerce, and marketing. We have also the next level freelancing courses. Courses at 2,990 pesos on creating an irrefusable offer, obtaining high-value clients, and starting a freelance agency. We have also individual courses, courses at 1,490, Better English for Online Success, and Getting Started with Blogging. Courses at 2,990 on Bookkeeping and QuickBooks for Beginners, Email Marketing Mechanics, Freelance Writing for Beginners, SEO, The Way Google Likes It, Social Media for Business, Management and Marketing, Websites 101, WordPress and HTML, E-Commerce Virtual Assistance, Time Management and Productivity Course. We are also offering free courses on Virtual Assistance, Becoming an E-Commerce Virtual Assistance, Search Engine Optimization for Beginners, Social Media Ma Management Must Knows, Becoming a QuickBooks Bookkeeper, Enter to Next Level Freelancing, Email Marketing for Beginners, Enter to Lead Generation, Earn Through Writing, and Better English. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now at VA Bootcamp because your freelancing career starts here. Wow! Ang gondo! I love it! <laughs> Wow, Ludalin, very very good job. So so far, sa lahat ng mga ano, sa lahat ng mga dumaan na uh, interns for the night, ikaw itong halatang prepared. 
ano tam prepared na prepared talaga so very very good job sana ipagpatuloy mo yung yung attitude mo na yan that kind of practice uh, miss ludelin and um, i know that you will succeed in the future kung ganyan talaga ang gagawin mo all the time so thank you thank you so much for that <clears throat> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, ako na, parang naanamangha ako sa, sa ginawa kasi ng intern natin for today. I'll give, uh, give a little bit of support to Miss Ludelin. She did a very good job. Thank you. Uh, siya pa itong nagsasabing kabado siya kanina. Ano? Imagine, yung kinakabahan daw siya. Eh, ang galing-galing kaya ng ginawa. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, matanong ko nga sa inyo, I want you to send some support to our panel as well. Gusto kong ano, gusto kong itype nga ninyo uh, more Claire or more Gervin or more Ruby or more everybody kung gusto ninyo para naman ma-encourage sila na bumalik dito. Alam nyo kasi ladies and gentlemen, medyo mahirap itong mag-invite na sumali sa ano eh, sa flip chat and chill kasi first of all, it is quite intimidating to come here and speak to uh, a number of people ladies and gentlemen. Kaya ang isa. And uh, second is, to express your opinion is also quite difficult. And pag ganito kasi na ano na may nai-invite gusto ko naman na ma-encourage sila na bumalik why because marami silang nasa- nakita nyo naman marami silang nasabi na siguro naman nakatulong sa inyo kaya let me know nga ladies and gentlemen paki ano nga paki lagay nga diyan kung gusto niyo pang bumalik itong mga to kasi kung ayaw wala silang mababasang gustong bumalik kaya eh, hindi sila babalik sige kayo ayaw nyo. sayang sayang ang opportunity na ganyan kaya let us know nga ladies and gentlemen i want you to write more clear more gervin and more ruby sana naman ay ma- makabalik sila Now, before that, dahil malapit na tayo sa closing time natin, let me go around again and ask you, first is, um, basing on your experience, ano ba ang pwede ninyong maibigay na advice sa ating audiences for tonight? Second is, kung meron kayong iplaplag, meron kayong advertisements, that would be the time. And third is, kung meron kayong ipapashout out. Let's go clear. Okay. So, um, ba yan? Matapos na kinakabahan pa rin ako. <laughs> anyway, um, advice ko lang sa mga nag-start pa lang and um, gusto, nyo pari, gusto nyo talaga ng mag- maging online freelancer. Uh, una, una sa lahat is to pray. Uh, corny man, pero yun talaga yung mm. naman talaga natin gawin is to ask guidance from the Lord kung ano talaga yung to uh, para bigyan niya tayo ng ng wisdom kung ano talaga yung kung saan tayo papunta and para magkaroon talaga tayo ng um, guidance from uh, from him yun yun yung una yun kasi ako talaga una pinagpray ko talaga na Lord sana kumbaga hiningi ko talaga hindi lang basta pala sana hiningi ko talaga Lord gusto ko talaga to gusto ko talaga maging online freelancer kasi nga nasa bahay lang and I am single mom kasi so sobrang kailangan kailangan ko talaga na magtrabaho na nasa bahay lang at the same time maalagaan ko yung mga anak ko so hingin niyo sa Panginoon kung ano talaga yung gusto ng puso niyo and work on it yun nga sabi di ba um nasa Dios ang awa na sa taong gawa sobrang simple lang pero iyon talaga yung batas lang talaga ng buhay Um, kung gusto niya talaga pagtrabahuhan niya, nakikita naman ni Lord yan na uh, itong tao na to gusto niya talaga itong um, ginagawa niya, gusto niya talaga to so pinagtatrabahuhan niya. And eventually, uh, ibibigay naman yan sa atin ni Lord. Pero huwag tayong susuko. Yung pang una, una pa lang eh, nahirapan tayo, susuko na agad. So kasama sa process, kung merong success, merong failure, kasama parehas yan. Hindi pa pwede yung parang, gusto lang natin yung success. Uh, dadaanan talaga natin yung failure, yung rejections, um, yung mga hirap, lahat yan kasama sa process. So, wag nyong, wag nyong katakutan yung mga ganong bagay. Wag, uh, maging matibay din yung loob nyo. Since online to, um, tayo kasi mga Pilipino medyo medyo sensitive tayo pag nagsisimula tayo na parang pag napansin na may mali mm. tayo agad, is parang humihinto na tayo. So, isa yan mm-hmm. sa advice ko sa inyo na ano lang, take it as uh, ano lang. Lahat ng magiging negative na madadaanan natin, kunin yung lahat ng lesson doon. And dali nyo yung lesson na yun sa mga susunod na journey nyo. Eventually, lahat yan, sobrang kailangan lahat ng ingredients na yan sa, sa inyong freelancing journey. And ano pa ba? Uh, 
uh, mahalin nyo din yung trabaho nyo. Kasi kapag ka nakapili na kayo kung saan ang skill na gusto nyo uh, trabahuhin, mahalin nyo yung trabaho nyo. And sobrang pahalagahan nyo yung mga clients nyo kasi nalalaman naman nila yan. Nararamdaman nila yan. Yung kung meron kayong malasakit nun sa trabaho, hindi lang yung parang kailangan mo lang talaga ng pera. Kailangan mo din mo nang ibigay yung value. Kailangan mo na magbigay ng value dun sa client mo para naman um, yun din naman yung ibabalik niya sa iyo. And kung hindi naman din mangyari yun sa unang client mo, sa susunod na client mo, mangyayat at mangyayari yan. Kasi nga meron tayong, um, merong karma. Yung kung anong ginawa mo sa kapwa, mababalik at babalik sa iyo yan. So continue to be good. Continue to uh, continue to, uh, to grow. Huwag kayong matatakot sa lahat ng uh, mga dadaanan nyo na hindi maganda. Okay. Uh, ano pa? Um... Uh, wala na siguro. <laughs> lang siguro. I think uh, na-share ko naman na yung gusto kong uh, ma-share. Ayun. Oh, I love your input. I love your input kasi galing sa puso yan. This is what I want, ladies and gentlemen. Kaya, kaya nga pag minsan ang ginagawa ni Carmi parang spontaneous na tinatawag ito, itong mga ano, eh, kasama ko sa flip chat and chill. Kasi... Ilang beses kong sinasabi kay kay Carmi, Carmi ayoko ng scripted ha. Ayoko ng scripted magsalita ha. Gusto ko yung magsalita ay eh, galing sa puso talaga. And so I I I felt it. I felt it clear kasi talagang as you said, you are basing your advices on your experience which is something that I find true. Ramdam ko naman eh, especially pagdating sa prayers, ladies and gentlemen, whether you are a believer or not, find something where you can cling on to. Yung masasabi mong parang uh, someone who will give you hope. So, eh? so whether that is God, whether that is Buddha, if you're a pagano, na, pagano yung mga ninuno natin, yung mga yan, kung doon kayo naniniwala, it is all fine. Ang importante, meron kayong paglilinan ng confidence ninyo dahil medyo yun ang isang kulang sa atin din eh, yung pagkukuha ng confidence eh. You get confidence if you pray to God or you get confidence if you talk to your to your ancestors. You get confidence if you have something to believe on to na masasabi na okay, nasa sayo ang blessings. Right? You get confidence from that. Eh, syempre tayo, tayo mga Pilipino na medyo pahirapan ng konti ang confidence, any little help will do. Tanggapin na natin yan. <laughs> Basta ma-boost ang confidence natin. So I love what Miss Claire said here. Miss Claire, meron ka bang i-advertise or meron kang ipapashout out? Ayun, shout out ka lang yung aking mentor, <laughs> si Miss Jerry Plinky Jamson. Ayun. <laughs> Tsaka, sino pa ba? Lahat ng mga naging friends. Alam ko, marami akong friends din dito kasi nung nag-start din ako na magtingin-tingin ng ano, freelancing three years ago, nandito na. Nandito na din ako. So, marami na rin akong mga naging uh, online friends dito. So, shout out sa inyo. Hindi ko na kayo maisa-isa. And thank you din kay Miss Carmi for inviting me. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Carby, for inviting. Ayan, nag-aagawad kami ni Ludilin kung sino magpipindot dun sa, ano, eh, sa, sa plug ni Ms. Claire. Eh. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Kung maliit na link lang yan, you can just click on it and take a look at what's happening there since it is well endorsed by Ms. Claire. Tignan natin, surprise kung merong magandang balita dun sa, sa pag-click natin na yan. It's just a, a simple click, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you get to visit this page. Thank you very much, Miss Claire. I am really, really hoping that I get to meet you again some other time pero sa mga ibang episodes natin ng Flip Chat and Chill or who knows, kapag may invite ka rin sa, Just, sa Just Success, I am really, really hoping na pumayag ka, Miss Claire. Sure, sure. All right. <laughs> Na agad. Oh, very good. Yeah, oo na agad. That's good. Okay, Carmi. <laughs> Alam na yan. <laughs> okay, Kervin, what about you? Sure. So, um, I would just say that start with the right mindset. So, ganun kasing nangyari sa akin. Uh, I just decided on, you know, having that mindset shift. Um, once, you know, spend, spend really time alone why you want to do freelancing and you would be surprised na mahirap ang sagutin yun kasi if it's just for the money eh, in the long run baka hindi hindi masustain yung yung goal mo na yun so really spend time uh, answering that question why do you want to enter the freelancing world um, ask five whys diba so 
so example um, time freedom why time freedom di ba uh, para makita mo yung mga anak mo bakit mo gusto makita yun so un- until na ma-exhaust yung ano mo yung yung mind mo in answering that question uh, you decide on it you act on it uh, you follow through may mga challenges na may encounter ka along the way but again if strong yung foundation mo as to why you're doing this um you'll be able to sustain um yung freelancing um so i'm, I'm still kind of new six months ago di ba? six months pa lang ako to start pero that's what's working for me uh especially na i have you know a full-time job you know yung waking up di ba mm-hmm. na kulang kulang ang tulog tapos nagkasakit kasi nga you, you juggle two jobs at the same time um yeah. i could have just give up di ba that time uh, sabi ko nga, I'm earning okay naman. Uh, I can support my family without freelancing. Um, but I didn't I didn't do that. I, I, you know, I continued with my goal. So, yun lang din yung sasabihin ko. And once you enter, once you, you know, you you experience uh, your first client, always maintain good communication with your client. Treat it as your partner, not as your boss. Um, kasi as, as Filipinos, nandun yung mindset natin na hierarchical, yeah. eh, di ba, na boss natin sila. But no, uh, Treat them as partners. Kasi pag naging ganun yung mindset, mas makakapag-collaborate kayo ng client mo. And that's what's happening to me. Um, I over-deliver. And when I say over-deliver, if my deadline is on Thursday, I make sure I submit my tasks on Wednesday para makita muna ng client ko. Um, you know, if, if there are things yeah. that, you know, uh, you would need to be revised or kailangan baguhin, malalaman niya Wednesday pa lang instead of, you know, uh, on Thursday itself. So, over-delivering, under-promising uh, is is key uh, once nagkaroon ka na ng client. Kasi, importante na mag-gain mo yung trust ng client. Uh, kailangan you are, you know, reliable to your client. You are independent and you are able to uh, deliver uh, to your client. So, yun yung importante. Kasi it's, once you have that mindset, it's easy not to, really to break through eh, sa, sa freelancing. But staying there I think um is is even harder. Marami ko mga mm-hmm. freelancer friends na um nawawala because of of you know lack of good communication with the client. You know, jumping from one client to another. And I'm I'm yeah. fortunate enough that you know I maintain my good my, my communication with my client for 6 months already and we are partners. Um so alam ko yung kailangan niya and if if things are harder for me let's say uh, deliverables. Uh, I keep an open communication to him. Sinasabi ko na what are what are our priorities. Um, so open ako sa ganon. Open din siya sa ganon. So may mga freelancer friends kasi ako na um, accept lang na accept until such mm-hmm. time na hindi na kaya mag-deliver and then binibitawan yeah. sila ng clients sila. So yun yung iniiwasan ko mangyari. So I learn from them even without experiencing it yet. So, yun yung mga natutunan ko. So, yun lang din sasabihin ko sa kanila. Once may experience sila sa client, really good communication. And um, having, you know, a uh, strategy with your client is, is important. That is awesome. That's an awesome advice. Yeah. Um, Gervin, we have something in common. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it, it, uh, maganda ring practice. As a video editor, ma magandang prak ginagawa ko talaga yan kasama sa contract pag minsan pag trip kong ano pag trip kong ma-impress ang client sa akin ang future cli- potential client sa akin nilalagay ko yan talaga sa contract set your deadline and i'm going to submit it 24 hours beforehand for revision sake tapos kapag tapos na ang re- pag wala nang revision ipa- ipapadala ko pa rin on the deadline yung final Right? It only comes to show, ladies and gentlemen, that you are as, uh, even more efficient than you are expected to be, yeah, uh, which impresses a lot of clients, especially kapag bago. Pag long time, pag, pag itong client, eh, long time na yung, yung, ano, yung business niya, medyo gumawa na rin niya ng mga precautionary, ano, precautionary methods. So you don't need to impress them. Gawin mo na lang in practice. Pero kapag bago yung business nitong, ano, nitong potential client mo, malamang hindi nila masyadong kinoconsider itong leeway. 
especially when it comes to video editing, ladies and gentlemen, and video creation, uh, medyo tight ang deadline pag baguhan itong mga, ano, itong mga clients. And it will always be anxiety-driven kapag ikaw na lang itong inaantay nila. Ikaw na video editor itong inaantay nila. So, it is a very, very sound advice to do that. You finish the task 24 hours before the deadline para merong mga just-in-case. Ganun ka rin mag-promise. Mag-promise mo na, okay, whatever task that you are going to give me, I'm going to finish it in two days, but I'm going to submit it in three days. For the one-day allowance is for just-in-case. Pwede mong sabihin ng ganun just to impress your future, ano, your your potential client. Para gawain ko yan. Ginagawa ko, I do that personally, yung pagsasubmit mo ng 24 hours before ano before the deadline. I do that uh, personally. Ako mismo ginagawa ko yan. So yeah, I'm, I most definitely agree with Gervin's practices here sa, ano, sa, sa client niya. And isa pa yan, yung, alam nyo, ladies and gentlemen, ang ganda ng sinabi ni Gervin eh, kasi napakalaking example yung Sandali, what are our priorities? Kapag kasi marami na silang binibigay, binibigay na trabaho sa'yo, ano na, I also want this. Can you also do this? Can you also do that? Sure, pwede mong sabihin na, yeah, I can do that, but we are running out of time. So what are our priorities? Pwede mong sabihin na ganyan. In fact, napakalaking value yung binigay ni Gervin na advice na yan, ladies and gentlemen, because kahit yung script na yan mismo, sabihin mo sa client mo when you need it and... You know what? Malaking susi yan for you to start negotiating upping your rates. Ha? Oh, ang ganda ng sinabi ni Gervin na tataas na ang rates niyo dahil lang sa sinabi ni Gervin ha. Kaya mag-thank you kayo kay Gervin. <laughs> mag-thank you kayo kasi wow, ang ganda. Ang ganda ng mga sinabi ni Claire at saka ni ni Gervin dito. Gervin, is there anything you'd like to advertise or meron kang papa shout out? Uh, siguro shout out to my freelancer friends. Hindi ko na name drop kasi baka pag minamiss ako, <laughs> maano. <laughs> <laughs> so, just all to my freelancer friends, thank you for, you know, um, influencing me to to enter freelancing talaga. So, yung mindset shift na binanggit ko kanina is all because of, mm. of, of that. So, thank you for them. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much as well. You know what, Gervin? May isang ano ako sa'yo. You have... Uh, you have a potential to be a um, a hindi naman vlogger eh parang sa podcast sa podcast ka why don't you start practicing making a an audio diary of your career habang nagsisimula ka pa lang habang nagsisimula ka pa lang kasi mahirap yung ano eh mahirap yung oh i remember back in the day ito ang ginagawa namin mahirap mahirap ng na documentation yon compared to uh, documenting what is happening right now, what are your feelings right now, what are your strategies right now, kung ano ang napagdadaanan mo. Create an audio diary dahil maliit lang naman na ano yon. You don't need to be self-conscious dahil audio lang naman and your voice is so good. Tapos malumanay ka pang magsalita. So I must, I must say that you have the potential to be a podcaster someday. So I strongly advise that you document your journey earlier on habang maaga pa kasi marami kang input ngayon. We'll kudos to Thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, kudos to you. You're welcome. And hope to see you. I uh, hope to have you again next time kasi I really want the input of the... Uh, etong combination ng tatlong ito parang oof! Wow, nasa heaven ako. I love it. Sa maraming mga uh, maraming mga inputs. So thank you Claire, thank you Gervin. Ruby, alam mo sinadya kong talagang ilas kita kasi oh ano, nawindang ka sa dalawa ano. <laughs> ano na? <laughs> Sakit sa ulo ano. <laughs> oh, diba? <laughs> na, panalo na sila sige. Let's uh, let's have Miss Ruby ladies and gentlemen finally. It's your turn. <laughs> Ay, grabe ang galing. Pero isa lang ang sasabihin ko. There's nowhere to go but up. Bakit? Freelancing is very hard. Free, tama si Gervin, sinabi niya, pag nagsimula ka, ang hirap i-maintain, ang hirap dumiretso, kasi marami talagang nalalagas. If you want to grow hmm. as a person and as a freelancer, dalhin mo lang lahat ng mga kailangan mo. 
pataas. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Tama, thank you Miss Claire. Prayer. Yun ang dalhin mo. Second skills. Kaya ka nga tumataas eh. Third, ano pang pwede mong dalhin? Dalhin mo yung mga rejections. Hindi yung rejections, pero dalhin mo yung lessons from your rejections para pataas. Thank you, Gervin. Kasi sinabi niya na tamang mindset. Sa totoong buhay, hindi naman natin goal na lagi. Eh, 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 eh. Diba? Lahat yan, dalhin mong, gawin mong gasolina. Kahit ang mahalang gasolina ngayon, dalhin mong gasolina sa jetpack mo. Pataas, pataas, pataas. Kasi yun yung goal natin in life. Tumaas ng tumaas ng tumaas. At syempre, pag ikaw na yung nasa taas, you help others na tumaas also. Hindi yan, it's slowly at the top. Kasi, It's lonely kung wala kang tinitulungan pataas din. Yun lang ang mundo, buong umiikot lang yan. Karma is an umiikot lang talaga yan, mga kapatid. Kaya sa mundong ito, sa freelancing world, yes, it's very difficult. Pero you have to have your resources. Maraming salamat, Flip. Kasi sa totoo, dito rin ako nagsimula sa Flip, sa VA Bootcamp, na napakalaking gasolina na niligay ko sa jetpack ko to be where I am mm. right now. And second is yung mentorship. Alam nyo, at saka yung community, napaka, napakang ano yung VA Bootcamp, yung experience ko dito as an SMM moderator dati. At saka yung, alam nyo yun, yung community na kahit anong itanong mo, pwede mong sinasagot. Kaya minsan nakakaano, paulit-ulit na lang, magbasa naman. Yes, magbasa. Pero alam nyo yung mga kapatid, there's nowhere to go but up. Lahat tayo gusto nating tumaas. Pero dalhin nyo lang yung mga kailangan nyo dalhin. Yes sa prayer, yes sa skills, yes sa mentors, yes sa lahat ng mga makakatulong sa inyo pataas. At pag tatlo sa taas na tayo, kumuha tayo ng itataas rin natin. Kasi that's what we have to do. Yes. We have to support each other. This is not talangka in effect. Hindi, hindi tayo magtatapakan para tumaas. Kung bagkos, tayo yung maghahawak-hawak kamay, taas, 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 jump, taas, jump, taas. Ganun lang. Yun lang. Ooh, Wala, pare, talagang hindi, matu- hindi matutumba si Miss Ruby. Yan ang gustong-gusto ko. Eh. Meron at meron pa rin masasabi. And I, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, sabi ko nga, si Miss Ruby ang isa sa mga ina-enjoy ko talagang kasama dito sa Flip Chat and Chill because her her infectious ano attitude hindi ba? Pagkasama nyo si Miss, si Miss Ruby, parang hindi na kayo mapapagod eh. Kasi wala na kayong karapatang mapagod kasi siya tawa ng tawa pa rin eh. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's what I love with with Miss Ruby. Oh, Miss Ruby, uh, plugging time and shout out time. Yes, alam nyo naman, plug natin. Isama natin sa mga plug natin, yung kay Dear Pink Tea, yung mentor ni Miss Claire, isama natin. And my, my sister, Five May, sa so Happy Mommy Vlog, pinigulig ko na lang pinopromote. Sumama na kayo, mag-sign up na tayo. Lahat ng yun. At saka <laughs> siyempre, ipopromote ko ang VA Bootcamp kasi dito rin lang ako nanggaling. Promise, naging say, kay Bossing JD, kay Ate Carmi, kasama ko yan habang gawa-gawa dito. So, lahat ng yan, dala-dala ko, papuntang progreso. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, wow. Yan ang gusto ko kay Miss Ruby. It's short and brief. Ayan nga, ladies and gentlemen. Kaya nilalagay ni Carmi ang mga links dyan para madali lang ang trabaho natin. Click na lang, na lang tayo ng click ng click. Magkano lang naman yung mag-click katapos sisilipin mo lang kung ano ang laman nun. Ano? Kung hindi mo gusto, edi che, move on. Kamo na lang ganun. Kung gusto mo, edi read on. O, di ba? All you need to do is click. Ladies and gentlemen, increasing your skill, discovering new skills, dito rin natin nakukuha. Hindi kailangang literal na kukunin ninyo ang kurso. Hindi kailangang literal na magbabasa kayo ng libro. Sometimes, but a simple skill, ladies and gentlemen, can come from the strangest places. Right, ladies and gentlemen? And this is the reason why we keep on promoting anything. Hindi lang sa business, ladies and gentlemen, kundi also to help you out. So, our topic for tonight is how to choose a new skill to boost your freelancing career. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, napagod ako. Wala akong maisip na maidagdag eh. Ang gagaling nitong tatlong ito eh. Ang gagaling. Hindi ko parang ano na ang sasabihin ko. Nasabi na nila lahat. Maraming meron pang mga, mga nagsabi ng hindi ko alam. Ako pa, hindi ko alam yun ah. Oh, Diba? <laughs> Pero ladies and gentlemen, like I said a while ago, sa lahat ng mga pinagsasabi namin, it is also important that you keep things simple. Huwag tayo mag-overthink. Kasi overthinking, pinipigilan lang natin ang sarili natin. Pag-isip tayo ng isip ng isip, wala rin mangyayari sa atin. Umapak ka. Take the step. Sabi nga ni Claire, eh, i-apply mo. So take the step. Sabi ni Gervin, you have to be uh, innovative. 
kung gusto mo naman ng ibang klaseng path kasi if it is na if something isn't working for you then take a different step sabi naman ni ano si Ruby naman alam niya sa totoo lang ang isang gusto ko kay Ruby di, kay Ruby yung ano eh yung attitude niya talagang tumatawa na lang siya alam niyo ang laughter kasi ladies and gentlemen kahit nahihirapan ka matatanggal ang stress mo pag itatawa mo. Ang nervyos mo pag kinakabahan ka. Alam niyo kung bakit ako pag minsan nagpapatawa sa sa mga interns natin kay Miss Ludilin kanina sinusubukan kong patawain siya. Because there is something ladies and gentlemen that you can use to break the ice and at the same time mawala yung kaba ninyo. Ito ang napakahirap na na binibig na parang task ninyo ay eh, yung job interview. Sa job interview tayo parang pag minsan feeling natin, doon tayo bumabagsak dahil sa, dahil sa job interview na yan. And if you adopt the attitude, just the right amount of attitude, katulad yung laughter ni Ruby, yung pa, pa, parang sige lang, smile pa rin. Si Gervin na nag-iisip yan, nag-iisip habang, habang nagsasalita yung client, sige magsalita ka lang client, basta ako nag-iisip ako. O, ganun ang attitude ni Gervin. Claire is speaking from her heart. Everything is from her heart. If you combine all these three ladies and gentlemen, Malaki ang tiwala ko that you will be able to reach out to your client. Kailangan ka man nila o hindi, ikaw man ang tamang um, uh, virtual assistant nila o hindi, they will remember you. And isn't that important as well? Right? Thank you very much everybody for joining us tonight and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye! Thank you!